Everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we get to take apart the Purple 3. So let's go. Okay, so the Purple 3, is it a good mattress? That's a question that I always get. It's probably the most popular online mattress. Yeah. Definitely in the top two or three. But it is different. They They've come a long way. A couple years ago, we did a purple video and now they've come up with a whole bunch of different models. And we finally got this purple three a few weeks ago. And it's like, perfect, we Yeah, do it. Mm -hmm. The purple three, I believe it's like the, the most popular ma mattress model. Talking to a couple people knowing just in the mattress industry, I hear the purple three is probably the most popular mattress in the purple lineup. It's gonna be in a queen size. This retails for, I believe $29.99. And a king, it retails for about 3,500. But Gabe, what is the story behind the per this this particular mattress? So, of course, you know, what drew them is that their marketing, right? The customers, like, they've Purple's done a great job with their marketing. But I mean, if you've ever seen their, like, the Sasquatch commercial or the egg test Best and the yeah. Goldilocks, I mean, they, they've done great at their, that no, marketing part. But it was husband and wife. She wasn't too fan, too much of a fan of, like, the feel of, like, the underneath the grid. It just never to her felt stable. Yes. Um, husband was okay. It, well, he had no issue really. I mean, he's like, yeah, it felt different. It was unique. You know, it took a little bit used to getting used to, but he's like, hey, I can sleep on most yeah. things. But for her, it was just a little unstable. And, um, you know, I've lied on it before. Yeah, it feels kind of little, little rocky. That was the issue. Yeah, it's yeah. different. And I tell customers, like I do talking to people too that pick up these old mattresses that have contracts. This is a popular one that does get brought back. Just the purple one in general. I'm not saying it's a bad bed, but it does have a very different feel than what people used to. And we're gonna see why. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna see why because they're known for that gel polymer material on the inside. Yeah. So before we do, let's open it up or let's measure it. Let's see how thick this is because this is a beefier purple mattress. When we were moving this thing, this thing is a heavy. This thing is a heavy mattress. Yeah, it's a beast. Which I like though. I mean, my philosophy has been like the, the lighter the mattress, the cheaper the materials, the mm -hmm. heavier the mattress the more dense the materials, which generally equate to longer lasting materials in a mattress. So this is a heavy mattress, which is not con candy like I've seen these super thick ones. We just opened up a sot of the bed, bed, which is also super thick, but it was like cotton candy, very light. This one's not, this one's heavy. Let's measure it first. Sure. So when measuring a mattress properly, get that straight edge. So it's and about a 13, 12 and uh, 12 and three quarters. So three days, it was a 13. Yeah, it could have been a 13. Yeah. So about 13 inch mattress. And this is probably, um, the, the purple three is more of like that medium feel mattress. Out of all of them, it was their softest one. Yeah, I think yeah. they have a purple four. Oh, they did have a four? Yeah, okay. they have a four so and that's the- This was like the medium soft. soft. Yeah. yeah. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, we already unzipped it. The cool thing is we have the zipper. So this is their stretch knit top, which here's a little thing with, when it comes to the cover, this is a very stretchy top you know, which is good. If you want to feel that material underneath, like if I would have just changed this part of the mattress to like a damask type top, mm -hmm. or even an organic cotton top with there's, even though it might be a stretch knit, it will not feel the same. It will actually be a lot more tighter and it'll be feel a lot firmer. Yeah. So having the stretch knit is going to give you another degree of softness. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you get it. You actually thing. get a feel. The, the cool thing is you actually do get a feel that polymer underneath it right so that's yes. what you that's what they want to highlight is that they're per, their grid so you do get to feel that with that type of cover yeah so i do like that stretchiness and it's a heavy weight uh, it is a, it is a good quality ticking on the top here's this fire retardant sock if you open it up you take a look like it's uh it's all like yeah disintegrating and stuff or yeah or ripping and which now here's the thing with this fire retardant now this is like a fiberglass type sock. This is very common. Now we got to throw this in the trash because these little fibers can go, can get just all over the place. Like, like the, I don't know if you could catch that. Tiny little fibers, they could go airborne, they could get into your clothes. So if you ever take off the cover of the mattress and you see this sock, don't. Don't take off the cover of the mattress because these fibers can really cause damage. There's been big lawsuits that you'll see um, online that for companies well, customers have had issues with this. Let's not particularly this, this company, no, but no, no, just, no, just with the actual Yeah, just with other companies. Glass. I know Zionist has one with Amazon. Let's open this up. You see these fibers here too, they got all inside. We have to put this in a bag and toss it. And here's a cool thing too. Great thing with tape, just, uh, just tape it. 
you know this is like my level of home improvement construction too i'm big on duct tape too and i guess the guy who did this is really big on duct tape as well just kidding that's not duct tape it's a foma case right so that's you if you look at the grid so we're about six inches Three, this is a six, king size yeah so six inches all the way around so you're losing 12 inches of the actual what they're highlighting right that that purple grid so you're losing 12 inches of like sleep surface because then you're you know if you're on the edge you're on the partially on the grid partially on the foam yes it's a bit of a bummer right a little side note where this material this polymer material is it it's not exclusive to to purple they've just done the best job at marketing it i was contemplating on bringing this in in some of our mattresses years ago it was, i believe it was called somni gel and the um, to use in our mattresses because it is a durable material overall you know at least that's how it's been it was marketed but um but one reason why i did not want to bring it in is because to get the whole mattress you could they were never doing the whole mattress it was always just part of the mattress yeah which i didn't like i i would rather have the whole top being uniform rather than just that center part yeah so and having six you're losing six inches here six inches there so you're only sleeping on uh, just uh, the on the king size mattress mm -hmm. you're uh, like a little bit more than a queen size in yeah. the um polymer material yeah so. and i can see like because of edge support right i mean it'll be terrible edge support if you had that right i would imagine yeah you know yeah. so the um i mean just yeah what is I mean, just do 12 minus it right but yeah that purple gel is man it's 60 inches yeah so yeah even though it's a king size bed it's 60 inches in the gel material. That's so this is a this is a Kel King, right? Yep. Now here's what I've heard from many customers. Like one reason why it doesn't work for customers. First of all, that feel. Now this buckles. It d is a very unique, distinct feel. You know. But again, comfort. As I say, comfort. It's a very subjective thing. You know. So you, I really won't base the quality on the comfort because some people like it but yeah. it is different for a lot of people. But also, if you could see here, I don't know if the camera could, how you see these little squares, they tend, like, especially on that side, like if you see right, right on here, there is a lot more, it loses that, that form. It seems like, like it's like just tearing, like, some tearing a little yeah, bit on the... Which that will definitely affect the support. Like you can see that there is some dipping here, you know, and I have seen other videos and other photos um, and just feedback from customers where it just kind of compresses. So it is, market is very durable, but there is, as since these has been around over the, over time, it, you know, only always time will tell. Time yeah. will tell whether it's a well-built mattress. Now, how big is that grid? Let's see. So it is three, yeah, yeah three good, inches. That's three why inch, it's a three inch. three inch gel. On the top of that gel material, you got this layer of foam, purple foam, just so, so the gel material does not seep through into the um, into the coils. So now you got the pocketed coils. Out of coil systems, I do like pocketed coils. Okay, and let's see how thick this is. So it's an eight inch coil on here. And then underneath that, you have about an inch of, of foam underneath it for the little padding. What kind of thickness of the, is the coil? What, what gauge are we looking at? This is actually pretty thick. I'm yeah. gonna guess about a 14 gauge, maybe even a 13 and a half with the 14 so yeah probably about a 13 and a half 13 gauge 13 gauge yeah. yeah this is actually let's see let's measure down maybe on the edge it's thicker looks like it's similar all the way through pretty sure it's gonna be the same remember the th the thicker the gauge the lower the number yeah the thicker the wire the lower it. the gauge 18. so this is about 13. let's go to 14. No. yeah about 13 gauge which yeah is pretty firm um, for a pocketed coil and that being a medium soft to softer mattress it, I'm surprised they use such a thick coil on here. Here's the thing too though We do we do talk about less is more right and yeah. this is more of a less is more type of it construction is. Right, it is and then this is a different material. So it is unique They do things different than a lot of the online mattress companies. They had done a better job at Stop marketing. Yeah, they, they stopped doing their, their, their silly marketing. You know, yeah. they're so good at marketing that my kids would watch it and want you get a purple bed because just they they like the sasquatch yeah you know so yeah i don't know why they got away with it now they change it up though now the newer ones have a little bit more quilting on the top so it's just just a, di a different um style of bed now mm -hmm. but it, this is is different it's unique for three grand though summing up for three thousand dollars on this one 
it's really you have to try it out you know? yeah you have to try it out i i don't know if you, if that purple material or grid is something you like then it might be worth it i would say responsiveness this is probably similar to our delmar soft you know yeah. probably along that range is our yeah. delmar soft I would you know firmness this delmar soft maybe a little bit responsive so i'll say this probably has a little bit more motion to it than yeah. than the delmar you know because latex is it has that active response, but this one is, yeah, you can feel a little bit more motion with that uh, with that grid. Yeah. But the Delmar Soft and the Queen is sixteen ninety nine, and then we're using full edge to edge support. Yep. So a bit different. Yeah. You know. Yeah. For I me, mean, someone who likes it, the someone who who might like it, who is a side sleeper, stomach sleeper, I probably wouldn't, but side sleeper, it mm -hmm. was gonna be pretty decent on the shoulders and the hips. Yeah. It is something that you need to try. Yep. You know, it's not for everybody. I would definitely say, man, no matches for everybody, but this one is definitely different. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you um, uh, are on your mattress shopping mm -hmm. journey, we put together a mattress guide that helps you on your mattress shopping journey. Little tips on mattress shopping. So, yeah. And really, thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe. Like, hit that bell. Hit that little notification. And then um, give us a call too. If you said, hey, you know what? Sorry, you guys, Purple Mattress opening and I want the Del Mar or whatever, you know, have any questions, give us a call. We'd love to help you. Um, we do ship across country. Um, but yeah. Thank you. We're here for you. All right. Sleep well. Bye.